You have probably seen SANS certification listed as job requirements. The most popular ones are SANS GCIH and SANS GCFA. The problem is the cost is really high. So each training and certifications cost about 8,800 USD, which comes to about 13,000 Australian dollars. Now that's insane. In this video, I'll give you three ways how you can do these certifications for a fraction of the cost. Thing with my least favorite one, which is to challenge the exam. So you can actually get the JX certifications without doing the SANS training. To do that, you need to pay for the exam, which is about 950 US dollars, which comes to about 1,400 AUD. It's still an expensive certificate. However, it's nothing compared to $13,000. Now, there is a problem with this is the JAC exam is very much tied to the material that comes with the training. And there is no legal way for you to get the SANS training material without actually paying for the training. You still can do it. So I know people who have challenged the SANS GPIN, which is the penetration testing exams, after they've done their OSCP. So they were already familiar with the material. They had to still study and they had to create an index because they didn't just memorize everything. It is possible. It is difficult. To be honest, I've done three SANS certifications and I haven't challenged the exam once. So I've always done the training, which takes me to the next point. The second way you can do this training on the cheap is to actually ask your employer to pay for it. I know you may think that $13,000 is a lot of money to ask your employer, but trust me, companies do pay for training, especially if they want to keep you. If you've been good, if you've been delivering for your employer, you can let them know that you're interested in a particular certificate, but be smart about it. Let them know how doing this certificate will actually improve your day-to-day -day job. Let them know how doing the certificate will add value to your job. I also know some companies when they're interviewing candidates, especially for senior roles, they tell them upfront that they're willing to pay for SANS training. So it's used as something employers do to negotiate with the candidates, tell them, okay, if you accept this amount of salary will actually be paying for SANS training. It's one of the perks. So it happens. You just need to be proactive in seeking those employers and also asking for it. It's not going to happen if you don't ask. Okay. The third method, which is my absolute favorite method, and this is how I got three SANS certifications so far, is the work study program. So go to the uh, sans.org slash work study program and apply there. So the work study program lets you do the certificate, the training and the certifications for about 2,500 years SD, which is about 3,700 AUD. Still a significant amount. However, I believe it's really worth it. I've done the SANS training and SANS certification, and I can tell you upfront, it's one of the best quality trainings that I've attended. So you will not regret doing a SANS training and a certification, which is why I really like this third way, because you actually get to be in the classroom, you get to attend the training, and you get to learn from the instructors who are all, by the way, amazing. So what's the SANS study work study program? Essentially, there's two ways of doing it. So you can either do it in person or online. If the training is running in person, so you need to arrive to the training early, you need to help the SANS team in setting up the room. So sometimes you need to do cabling, set up the projector, make sure everything's fine, unbox the books boxes, make things ready just a day in advance. So I did that for my GCFA. You also need to stay an hour after the training to collect the feedback forms, which is very important to the SANS training because they take feedback quite seriously. It's really an interesting experience because you also get to know the instructors, you get to network with the SANS team, which was my favorite thing to do. So I really enjoyed it. They are very selective about who they select to attend the training courses. There is no rhyme or reason. One of the things they told me is they will not select you two or three years in a row. They'd like to give other people a chance. If you work for a big company where your company usually pays for the training, they probably won't select you, but you never know. I think if you're interested in a certain training, just apply and see what you can get. 